I think Tony is full of passionate and intelligent young people. And he's very energetic and proactive as well. As you know, my first impression on Tony is from LinkedIn. He connected me through LinkedIn and sent me a personal message to have a self-introduction for himself. He also told me that he is excited to be a mentee in the coming year. I would describe my mentor as an intelligent, caring and approachable person. He always come and chit chat with me and check if everything is okay. And also, he always helped me with his bright and knowledgeable mind, like telling me what is going on, what is the trend. That is really great and I learn a lot of things from him. Sherry is an intelligent and genuine girl. She is eager to learn and is active in joining various activities in and out of school. Samantha is a very nice and friendly person. I think that she is also very passionate in life. For example, she told me that she is actively developing her new hobbies and interests. Like she is learning to play the drums and also she is taking a course about aromatherapy, which I think is quite challenging and special and interesting thing to learn. I feel very grateful for meeting Sherry in this program and I feel very blessed to have her as my mentee and my friend. My mentorship journey last year was rewarding. I'm so lucky to have such a nice and friendly mentor like Samantha and it's rewarding to have learned a lot from her and to make friends with her. I think it's good to use the quote from a movie that is Forrest Gump appeared in 1994. Forrest Gump is played by Tom Hanks his favorite quote is, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know the taste of chocolate until you bite it. This also applied my mentorship journey last year. As you know, it is my first time to be Hong Kong U Business School Mentorship. And we don't know who is our mentee or mentor, what is our expectation for mentee, and how this relationship will go on. And also, it's just like the taste of chocolate. We have the sweet and bitter part in our mentorship journey. I would describe it as a rewarding journey because as a student it's really difficult to have some insider information from our practitioners. So this program really provides us an opportunity to network with them and understand their daily routine and the attitude we should have before we enter the industry. It is really rewarding to us. The program has enhanced my mentoring skills, including active listening. And through engaging with Sherry, I have gained a lot of insights about younger generation. At the same time, it's offered a good platform for me to give back and to contribute to HKU Business School, where I did my MBA study. After joining this program, I make friends with people whom I think I wouldn't have met otherwise. I also learn a lot from Samantha. For example, she's willing to take up new challenges, even though she can just focus on her stable job working in the financial industry as a banker. And she's willing to take up new challenges like developing her new hobbies and interests. I really appreciate that she's humble and kind in sharing her thoughts with me. So I gain a lot of insight uh, by chatting with her. Yeah, Pen, you give me a lot of great advice, for example, the market trend, what is happening or what's a client mentality, and even introduce one very uh, sophisticated guy to me. Yeah, Chris, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I think that I'm not the right person and right position to give you advice because I'm old. But Chris, actually, they are also an alumni. Yeah, they, they just graduated two years ago and they've gone through those interviews and assessments. I think he's a good position to give a great advice because he just gone for the interview two years ago. And also I think it's good to you to extend your network. Do you remember the lunch that we had during my birthday month? Yes, of course. So on that day we went to a very beautiful cafe in blue color theme and the color and the color that you like and with flowers and we ordered a blue birthday cake for you and with a pre-written birthday message on your plate and I also prepared some uh, birthday gifts for you and I think you're quite surprised for that, right? Yeah, yes I did <laughs> because um, I didn't expect you remember my birthday. Yeah, I remember everything that you told me actually. As you know that um, in my peer group or in my working environment, I don't know the generation like you. And as you are very creative, you give me many great ideas I never think about. I never know what is IG story before. But right now, I follow your IG story every day. 
Yeah, but I think it's good to load you because during my Facebook -face interaction, I don't know you are so active. You have many activities, just hiking, hockey, and swimming. I appreciate that. I still remember the mobile app that you shared with me about language learning last time. Yeah, I'm still using that to learn. I try to refresh my memory about the German that I learned a long time ago. Yeah, it's quite useful for me, and I hope that it's useful for you too. I believe that, that learning is never one way, so be open-minded and learn from each other. In addition, mutual support is extremely important under current pandemic, so that we can embrace with the changes and adopt the new normal together. Do not underestimate your value. You can definitely make a difference to a person's career development and personal growth. Be kind and humble in sharing your stories, your experience, and your thoughts with your mentors. And I believe that for every mentee, it's grateful to have a mentor to guide you, not only on the career aspects, but also on daily life matters. And always remember that you can be friends. You can go beyond mentor and mentee relationship, and you are the friends. The role of a mentor is to refresh the mentee how they think in their new perspective, not to give them direct answer or solutions. I care my mentee. I hope I will keep in touch with Tony for my life.